There we go. Okay, so we're playing as the UN. Um, got nice chunks of the Caribbean. Good chunks of territory over here. We got Malta. Lots of islands in the Indian Ocean. Africa. The Pacific. So we're spread around pretty good. Overall, our population is 37 million. Wow. We have one research facility. We have no land production, no air production, no Navy production, and no missile production. We have 172 military units. Everything from attack helicopters to attack aircraft, some warships, a lot of patrol warships. A lot of patrol ships, which makes sense. A lot of island nations, right? Um, a couple landing crafts. Nothing too crazy. We have some... What are you? Patrol aircraft, yeah. I'm going to assume you're an AWAC. Okay. Okay. Food's a problem. Rubber is probably going to be a problem for the start. Timber is a problem. Oil's a problem. Oil's close. We have a lot of it, but it's close. Coal, problem. Metal ore is close. Uranium is going to be a problem once we go nuclear. Electrical power is a problem. Consumer goods are a problem. Industrial goods are meh. And military goods don't exist. Okay, so basically we are in probably one of the hardest starts, I think, that we could have picked. <laughs> um, first thing I want to do then is just set up some stuff here. What I would like you to do is just go for uh, influence, please. Just make some people happy for me. Oh, and actually, trade license. Get people liking us. Number two. Oh, and I actually want you to lock you at a bond. And we have no debt. That's really good to know. Uh, do me a favor. Increase revenue in the treasury for me. I'm not too worried about things like uh, infrastructure, because with islands, you build one um, supply depot on an island, and you're laughing. Um, as for you, produce self-sufficiency. That's what we'll do for now. You, I'm just going to lock you out of everything and tell you to improve my tech level and efficiencies. You, do my Air Force on high and my military on low. Tell you not to build anything and you are just... Going to increase my reserve personnel because I was on the wrong button there. I only have almost two, man, I'm not even 200,000 people. I don't have enough people probably to activate my military. So we're pretty much going to be playing the whole crap. Please don't invade me uh, for the short term. What is this? Oh, DC controls that. Okay. Wait. Oh, okay. So DC is landlocked, other than the fact that they have this little bit right here. That's good to know. We'll probably get taken by Cuba real quick. So first thing I want to do is I want to build up my infrastructure, or I want to build up uh, my industrial goods, and I want to start making money because I can make money. I can then buy the goods and then spend the goods and obviously build stuff. As for supply, we'll. Prioritize initially the Caribbean, and then we'll work on some of the other islands. I think most of the other islands are going to be kind of just there. Um, one of the things I want to do is get some land production, so I can build uh, some engineers. Unless I don't, unless I have some light infantry. Well, we have three combat engineers. Okay, and they're all close. Okay, so we're going to order them all. Nope, I 
I, I goofed that up. They're all going to go there. So we're going to start with this island and work our way out. I don't think we have any more engineers. No, we don't. Right. So, let's go. We're going to go very fast. I want to see if we start making money. No, not yet. I gotta start making money. If I'm making money, then I'll do something there. We're making money. Okay, good. So one of our, one of our, oh, let's get some of this stuff going. Not, we're too worried right now about the warfare stuff. Anything that right now will give us a bonus is what I want to go with. So this is going to increase our cost of infrastructure though, so I'm not really worried about that. Anything that'll give me like, like um, reductions to demand but increase in production. That gives us an overall healthcare rating increase. Here we go, research efficiency. More research efficiency. Efficiency. Once in a territory in Central America and the Caribbean. Yeah, and look at that. You had islands all over the world and you didn't even know it then. I'm not too worried about those. Huh. Uh, finished goods, facility. Okay, yeah. We want you. The only problem with that is I'm actually not a cat person. I'm a dog person. I'm surprised he's actually not down here right now. Uh, let's add you to our list. Petroleum demand down and electrical goods demand. So here it's overall oil per, uh, demand goes down, but then electrical demand goes up. Which kind of sucks. So we don't have the greatest missile accuracy and missile efficiency. Okay, we don't have any missiles right now. Mobile steel barges we're going to need because we're going to probably pull a lot of oil out of the water. I'm hoping. I'm not too worried about synthetic rubber plant because I think we have rubber up here. I'm going to look at temper uh, in a few moments here. Uh, the talking fire. Coal production. Yeah, let's take that. Petroleum production. Yeah. Research more research efficiencies, which is good. Commercial nuclear power is something I definitely want to get. Population consumer. That's something else I want to get. Education gets better and gets cheaper. Don't worry about that. Anything that gives me bonuses that does not cost me money. I think one of you did as well, right? Yeah, cultural. And urban renewal. Okay. And then we'll wait because we don't have any land production capabilities. All right. So, with that in mind, let's unpause here. Probably going to take a hit in the paycheck momentarily. Nope. Wow, we're at 13 million? We just doubled our money. How am I making so much money? Oh, I'm trading my stocks away. That's why. Okay. So first things first. Rubber. Really? I have no rubber plantations. I cannot build rubber plantations. Are you serious right now? I should be able to build rubber plants. I was pretty sure there's rubber. In the... Okay. That's going to be a problem. 
That's going to be a big problem. Let's at least try to feed people here. Two of those. Let's build three of them. Produce anything right now if I wanted to. Combat engineers, yes, I can. Build military. That's. Tension increases. So, China and Central Siberia? Okay. Interesting. I'm going to tell you guys to do construction there. Okay, are we selling off all our stocks of stuff? I mean, we're making money hand over fist right now. Do I really want to be letting the AIs... Oh, I didn't tell you to sell stuff. You shouldn't be selling too much. Yeah, you're not selling everything all the time. Okay. Really? So Southern China's going a little hog wild here. If we go to war, we're going to war with Southern China. So that's a no. That's a yes and that's a no. I'm going to try and buy some technology here real quick. Go with technology. Commercial nuclear power. Synthetic rubber. Let's try something else. Come on, something gives me. Let's do that for now. Let's wait. These will be done in 25 days ish. Okay, we're not going to. Wow. I wasn't expecting things to go a little crazy this early. Yes, no. No, no. Yes and no. I mean, the first country we're going to go after is going to be Cuba. If we actually go warfare. Southern China is just like 
I'm just going like hog wild on everybody. I have a feeling we'll be making a lot of money early on, but then later on, after we've sold all our stuff, we're going to be pretty hurting. Three more days. Three more days. Yep, yeah, we're starting to lose money already. Oh. Let me guess. Southern China is going after somebody else again. Southern China is basically declare basically declaring war on everybody. But now on the bright side, we now start producing our own engineers. Ten should be enough. This will start giving us the ability to build a lot more, for sure. That gives more agriculture. Now, I don't want to become too dependent on either buying or selling goods, or sorry, uh, resources, so. We might be a target for these guys. We might be a target, actually, for these guys. Um, oh, that has no loyalty. Who <laughs> does that? Unless they're all well to me, which is good. No. We're still making money, which is good, because that means we can sell or we can buy what we need, so. got to be at least self-sufficient with the majority of what we need to do. Pretty close, actually, to getting the, the amount of food we need, which isn't actually that bad. Um, let's build one more full stack, shall we? One of the good things about being resource dependent, or, oh, sorry, uh, resource 
say efficient. The only challenge is going to in Kazakhstan. Those two countries are going to be huge. I might also build a couple more research facilities as well. Okay, chiha. Chica. No. I think now is when we're going to start losing money. This thing we're not making as much. Inflation's at 0.1%. Unemployment's 9.8%. Overall tax rate's at 59.1%. Jeez. Well, once we start getting people working, they'll start making more money, which means we'll start making more money. We're probably going to live off of exports for a while. I don't like living off of exports. What are you going to do? Like how a country declares war and then the threat level goes down? Oh, here we go. I'll take those. People are offering us basically food and stuff like that, which isn't too bad. Okay, so we're officially making enough food now for ourselves. So many offers. Well, didn't actually lose that much money. No 90 or 30 day deals, please. Thank you very much. How much? What's the. Per it's the Chinas. China and China are going just ham on each other. Or should I say around one another? Oh no, Taiwan. So basically right now, Asia is just imploding on itself right now. What you mean? They'll be weaker. I mean, we won't be able to like declare war on anybody or anything like that, but theoretically... Southern China's military will be significantly, we'll say, tied up, probably going everywhere else. So, I mean, we might have a chance to jump in and maybe snag something.
Yeah, I'm not gonna. Who are you at war with again? Okay. I will admit, playing as like Manchuria or Inner Mongolia, it'd be kind of interesting to like kind of re get all of China back together again. That'd be kind of cool. Or play as Taiwan and actually reconquer China. Hong Kong's independent, which is pretty cool. Maybe one of my next plays will be playing as Taiwan, and the whole point of playing as Taiwan will be to just reconquer um, China. With the whole, uh, what was it, uh, one, one China policy or whatever, be like, what would happen if, uh, no, the Vietnamese, or the Vietnamese, the Taiwanese were like, yeah, that's right, there is one China, and we're it, and we're taking you out. That'd be kind of crazy. Actually, I want to see something real quick. No, nope, nothing in the South China Sea. Look, like the world is burning around us, and we're just sitting on these islands looking at it going, oh, that's a nice, wonderful sunset. Wait, the sun's in the other direction. As the nuclear missiles and bombs fall. Okay, well, this is a little entertaining. To say none the least. Though it would be kind of interesting to build up our technology level, build up this massively advanced um, military, and then just start landing on all the, the, the main continents and just going to war with everybody. Like a sunset invasion. I think actually that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get up to a point where I am massively more technologically advanced than the rest of the world. And then maybe at that point we will bring the United Nations to the world. And either make them join us. Or it's a grovel. Be like, either you will do what I say or I will tell you what to do. By that last part, I mean I'm going to show up with, you know, 
advanced warships and advanced aircraft and basically just show up and start wiping everybody off the face of the earth. There we go. Those are all done. Oh, not all of them. Still one left. Oh, someone wants to buy 14,000 tons of consumer goods. Um, yeah, I can do Oh, because I'm starting to make more. Aha! Yeah, okay. Hold off on food for a couple days now. So food production is good. Now, robber production. Now, the only thing I can do here is produce... Fake rubber. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, I have a spot to build a... Whoops. Derek there. Oh, yeah, we actually have some... Ability to produce there. We have another Derek that we can do there. So most of what we can do is via Derek's. Derek's? Yeah, whatever we call. We don't have that ability yet. Ah, but Texas should. be done in about anywhere from 16 to 48 days max out our research efficiency because we're just making so much money northern china is going to war again so we are producing enough okay so we're going to build one one synthetic rubber plant right there. Do I have any engineers yet? No, because I am building my engineers, right? I am, okay, good. 59 days. Did I just finish building some? Yep. Boom. Should grid all these. No, that's no.
Okay, so. The Chinas are definitely going ham. What's our percentage here? 3% a day. It's not so bad. 22 trade offers. It's people selling this stuff, not actually. At least they're no longer offering us 30 and 90 day deals. I definitely notice that over time they do go away if you don't accept them. Every now and then they'll still pop up though. Hmm. Okay. So this should give us a nice chunk of synthetic rubber. Then we're going to go to coal. Oh, wow. We may not have access to coal. We have zero access to coal. Okay. Coal is going to be one of those things we're just going to be constantly buying then. We have a lot of money. Let's buy all of it again. We definitely, as a priority, was that? Fifty-one percent. Come on. So we're up 3% a day. Uh, 40 more days. There's still four more we. Yeah, because we made 10. And then we'll give us. Are there any missiles? No, thank you. We're not making as much money anymore. We are making money though. Wow. Okay. So North and South China have not gone to war with one another yet. Once these two go after each other, that'll be kind of like the ending of this burning of the uh, of the world. But I'll have to admit, playing as Taiwan in this area of the world probably would have been inter interesting, and especially in the Cold War era. Let's turn that off and go home again.
Really. We have no consumer good production. Ah, uh, we have 13 micro. Or mid and 10 micro. Okay. No major. Nine mid and three micro. And just zero military production altogether. Well, that'll be a bit of a entertaining thing to see. This production is zero. I'll buy coal one up. And I think this will finish this off, finish off this synthetic rubber plant. It will. And we'll have to watch what our production goes to. So rubber production is halfway. Right, that's not so bad. What I could probably do is like, holy smokes. Asia is just like in a complete and utter like warfare state at this point. Um, building one more of these facilities will probably do me for a long time. Okay. Underwater petroleum extraction is non-tradable as well. It's going to take a while for us to get the ability to actually <laughs> extract oil out of, the, out of the ocean. From the ocean floor to be more specific. You know, people are going to make, excuse me, but the oil is actually not coming from the water, but it's actually coming from the sea floor. Specifically, hundreds of meters to kilometers under the sea floor. Really? Really, China? Like, all three of the territories that are currently China are just going... are just going like crazy. Like... Come on. So are you? Yeah, okay, you are what I think you are, okay. So that is an AWAC basically. Bring you over there temporarily. The US is the my biggest concern. Because they could go like ham wild at any time. What I would like to do, to be 100% honest, is take Cuba. Um, then take Florida and then slowly work my set my way north but yet east 
of the Mississippi. And they basically just built fortifications along the Mississippi River and then just hold off from there. Um, right here would be a bit of a, a hard spot to uh, to defend from, but I'm not too worried. And then work our way up into Canada and then head west. And then once I have the U.S. kind of boxed in, the plan would be then invade and take the rest of the states. Um, we really, uh, Florida, I believe, has a okay military, but not the biggest one. Um... As for resources, what does Cuba have? Agriculture, no rubber, timber. You have oil. You don't have coal. You have metal ore. No uranium. We have hydro. Okay. I'm going to deploy my entire military to uh, this military base here. Pause real quick and highlight every single one of my units here. So ground, except ground only. And except for All you guys. Okay, so sea transport to there. Then I'm also going to highlight all my aircraft, deploy all of them. I'm going to highlight everybody here as well. Say aircraft, which are mostly actually over here, anyways. I'm going to say. Uh, sea transport there as well. What happen is they'll start, they'll deploy, and then they'll immediately, fingers crossed, uh, fly over to this airbase. there I actually think I had all my units over here anyway this is actually kind of good to go there we go southern China declared war on northern China and southern China has also declared war on Taiwan now war is good for business as long as these guys are actually fighting each other oh look at that I like that that's from Newfoundland Maritimes. We got some uh, piranha recon units. We're asking for not much actually, so yeah, let's do that. Harpoon conventional missiles, yeah. During the multiplayer stream, I learned uh, harpoons. Very, very dangerous. everyone and say do me a favor and go to reserve now oh, reserve oh. you reserve that's right I had troops in Malta as well We're mainly going to use this to invade, uh, invade Cuba. I 
Uh. Alright, so once these guys are done, our next plan will be where to invade. Well, obviously we're going to land troops in, in, in San, Santiago de Cuba is where we're going to land our troops. Um, we really don't have amphibious units all that much. I don't even think we have... We will start. So we do have some air, air portable. I'll call them uh, aircraft or uh, ground units. The question is, do I have aircraft that are capable of uh, transporting? Eighteen tons, twenty-eight tons. 36 tons. Uh, here we go. I have a Hercules that can take 240 tons. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's no worries. So, where is it? So Hercules can carry 240 tons worth of infantry units. Your weight is 613. Ninety. Basically, ninety, ninety is one eighty. That's three sixty. Okay, so that's too much. Three of them should be fine. The plan is, we're going to use these guys to take the port. They're going to be ordered for stealth, meaning that when they capture the territory, they won't, they'll won't they land, but they won't capture the actual territory itself. Then what will happen, theoretically, is that... Um, on post. What will then happen hopefully, is that when I bring in my ground units, my actual amphibious assault force, with the love of light infantry and artillery, they will then, at that point, take the territory, but that will stop anyone from actually spawning. There is also an airport there, so I'll be able to actually then get those marines, pick them back up, and land them, and airdrop them again in three specific locations. To hopefully, and theoretically, keep ahead of everything then we'll deal with florida after that so what should we build next okay we're gonna build one more Synthetic rubber facility. No 
much movement on the border. So little movements. Inner Mongolia has lost a lot of territory. But overall... Four percent a day. Uh, let's get. Oh, yeah, we gotta wait for our marines to get uh, built. So. Not much we can do until that's done. In the meantime, what about aircraft? Do I have the ability to build aircraft? Like, I'm not the ability, sorry. The actual, like, models to build aircraft? No. And I've got a couple patrol ships that I have access to. Okay. Um... Ooh. I can't buy the Leopard 2A6 yet because I am not technologically advanced enough. So we're really far behind when it comes to tech, but give us enough time, we'll be good. Do I want to start building new tech research? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, I just realized the chat has not worked at all today. Well, that's a bummer. I'm going to try to update it and see what happens. Interesting. I wonder if, the server, if there's an issue with uh, Streamlabs. Alright, so we got uh, a couple more days, and then our synthetic rubber plants will be good to go. Yeah, I'll buy those missiles. That'll up our rubber production. Now, it does cost us a ridiculous amount of money to produce the rubber, but in the end, we need it to basically get our goods going. Um... We don't have good power yet. Question for you, there, computer. Where is the co the closest uranium is in Texas? Hmm. Oh. Huh. Okay, okay. No worries. Um, I mean, there's some in Ontario. Maritimes don't have any because we could have moved our troops into here and then utilized that to, as an invasion force, but uh, no big deal. No worries. Um, so we'll be importing basically coal and uranium for a while. But we'll be exporting pretty much everything else. 
That's the hope. That's the plan. Ninety well, nine days technically till this is done, but to be honest with you, this will be done sooner. Um, yeah, I could care less about that right now. Wait, what? I was gonna say we're building stuff. Uh, reminds me, I can now deploy more engineers. But they're going to be there for literally the last day, but hey, yeah, it's and then boom, there's our rubber production. Okay, uh, timber production is fine. Oil, yeah, you're not going to be too great. Power production is going to be a I have fusion, I have fusion power plants. Why? Okay. Fusion doesn't take anything. Let's build three of these puppies and see what happens. I want to see if my money just like takes a complete and utter nosedive here. Yep. Pretty much 1% a day from the looks of it. Now, if we start losing money, I'm going to stop building two of them. Yeah, we're still losing more money. Looks like, what's the percentage per day? I, if these things create like a ridiculous, they create po a possible 1.1 million megawatts. 1.1 million megawatts. Are you kidding me? One point one million megawatts right now. Right now, we only need eighty eight thousand. One of these things should be able to just max out our power for probably years, and we don't need anything for power. We can actually then turn around and get rid of all our other, all our other stuff. All like we, we can get rid of everything else. So everyone wants to buy rubber from us like crazy. And just selling little little bits here and there.
So coal, coal can do up to 555,000 a year. One fusion power plant is 1.1. And all it takes is basically annual maintenance. Now, annual maintenance, on the other hand, is also 200 million per. Like, this is just insane. Like, I am beyond happy that this thing exists. Now, cost-wise, this is going to be expensive for us. But I think it would be worth it. I mean, we're building one and we're losing money. $130 million. 131, just watching that go up. Like, this is just going to skyrocket. I, I, oh, there we go. The chat just popped up. Just as, you know, we're, we're literally running down to our last, uh, well, I don't know, we've been going for just over an hour. I think we're going to be, like I said, about an hour, hour and a half today, so. Pretty much going to go for another 15 minutes, give or take. Might just go until this thing's done. Uh, no, we're not. Well, it's percent a day. So, Team Randall is going to take 70, 65, 65 more days. Yeah, because it's knocking four days, four days off from each one. So, that's pretty good. I still cannot believe, though. North Korea has been eliminated from the game. Africa, Asia is definitely not a territory you'd want to be living near. Which is fun because uh, we've got territory down here, I think. Yeah, we've got territory here. Hmm... Lack of resources is definitely going to be hard. Okay. Oh, starting to make money now. $155 million annual maintenance. We're at 50% of construction. Oh, nice. No. I don't think I'm going to need those anymore. I still can't believe this. This is going to be insane in the planet. Oh, nice. Are you just going there to sightsee?
So excited. So what? Yeah. So once the construction of this fusion plant's done, or depending on what's going on, we will be finishing very, very soon. Uh, maybe slightly abrupt. Because I'm just waiting on that message from a buddy of mine, and then we will be playing some Dauntless. Or whatever that is. Uh, Siberia and China signed a peace deal. Oh, nice. Come on, come on, come on. 62%. Oh, if you're at Pearson Internet? Yeah, Pearson's pretty good for internet. Come on, 70 days. It's only been waiting for is this thing to get built. India's going to war with Northern China. Do you even share a border? You don't. You have to go through Tibet. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, nice. Oh. Holy crap. Before, oh, my God. Come on. Come on, game. Also, can go to the bathroom, too. That's not so bad. When well, my sister lived in uh, South America, or sorry, South Africa, it took uh, I think it was a 36 hour flight, including layover. Yeah, let's do that. Manchuria is gone. Thirty six days. Come on. There we go. We got those guys. Bridge engineer, just order you there for a second. Construction, please. Support line up. Uh, I'm going to support Seth Great. Why not? 87%. Oh, girlfriend's home. Kazakhstan and Northern China signed a peace deal. Uh, oh, yes. Doug was yipped. Have a good one. Fly safe. 11 days. Come on. 
I just oh no I didn't do it over one perfect again. No. No no. I just want to see how much power this thing's gonna give us. Eight days. Alright, so this should be finishing up right now. So right now our power is sitting at sixty thousand. Done. I think I should do one click over and then. Really? This is yearly. Maybe it takes a little while for it to, uh, to build up, but that is going to be that for this live stream. So we're going to take about a 15 minute break, 20 minute break, and we may be back with uh, Dauntless with, uh, with the Baron. See you guys then.